Hello again, Nate here with the Volunteer Tech Vlog. Greetings to all you students of audio video technology. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about active speakers. So, active speakers versus passive speakers is kind of you know, a good way to frame it. When you first start out and you're learning all this stuff, you'll, you, you start looking through spec sheets and you start looking up speaker specs and you know, you look at uh, you know, the frequency response to speakers, for example, you might look at the wattage, how many watts can the speaker take, you might look at different things like how many ohms is this speaker and you know, try to make sure it matches with a, you know, an amplifier. And another thing, one of the things that comes up when you're looking at speakers is, is this an active speaker or a passive speaker? And uh, basically, to take a step back before we get into active versus passive speakers, um, let's just talk in general, active versus passive devices. Because they could be um, any number of things. It doesn't have to be a speaker, like this whole... Uh, classification of active or passive applies to uh, many different things in addition to speakers. But for the sake of uh, this video, um, an active speaker is a speaker that has an amplifier built in, uh, a power amplifier built into it. Uh, a passive speaker does not. So uh, put another way, an active speaker has a power amplifier built into it, therefore it needs to be energized uh, from, you know, a standard wall outlet, 120 volt uh, wall outlet. And uh, in addition to getting this power from the wall outlet, that, that's what makes the speaker active. Because it has an amplifier built in, it also needs to get uh, the, the audio signal, typically at line level. So uh, an active speaker will need to receive line level audio and power from a wall outlet. A passive speaker does not need uh, power from a wall outlet. All it needs is a, a high power uh, speaker level uh, cable run to it and it needs to have an amplifier uh, located remotely. And usually the amplifier will be located in an equipment rack. So that's, that's the difference is this, you know, this, all speakers need an amplifier in order to function properly. Uh, an active speaker has that amplifier built into it. A passive speaker also requires an amplifier, but it's not built in. It's located somewhere else, in an equipment closet, or an equipment rack, or somewhere else. So that's, in a nutshell, that is what a passive speaker is and what an active speaker is. I hope you found this uh, little video helpful. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If I forgot anything, be sure to mention it. I'll see you in the next edition of the Volunteer Tech Vlog.